Hey YouTube, it's Glenn here from BJ's Bird Wars again. And uh, after the other day when I did the clean out of my 1070, GTX 1070, I thought, well, I might as well give my 770 that's running in my test bench a clean out. And I have a 470 that I believe died from heat a while back. I believe is dead, but we just have sitting on the shelf, so I thought we'd take a look at it since it's a blower style. And then, and then we have an ATI uh, 3450 from uh, about 10 years ago. So I just thought we'd have a look inside that. Um, I believe it's working. I have no way of testing it. It has one of the very old DVI ports, which I don't have a uh, adapter for. But we're just going to have a look at that and see sort of 10 years. Well, not 10 years, or 770. <coughs> it was about, what, 2011? Um, so, uh, 2015? Maybe. So yeah, we'll just see a bunch of evolution of graphics cards from uh, this little one through the 470 and up here. And we never know when we give this guy a clean out, it might come back to life. So we'll have a look, we'll have a look at this one first and just sort of have a look and see what the little older one was like. All seems to just be screwed in with the same four screws to the CPU, uh, the GPU mounting plate, and the, into the fan shroud. There we go. You're a tiny, tiny little GPU. Mm. This is just all it's plastic. I guess it's an aluminium plate, but tiny little bit of thermal paste on the Paste is stuck on there. Yeah, it's very, it's not coming up. So, a 10 year old paste. We'll just stick on there, but we can kind of see the die, and it's a tiny little GPU there. It's got 256 megabytes of RAM memory. That's the two there, and other than that, there's not much else. The power. So that's a little guy. A fan. Early blower style, we'll move on to the next blower. Doesn't even go out of the case. And yeah, the tiniest little like heat sink area under the middle. <clears throat> so 
moving on to the 470. Pretty well corroded and gunked up across the main stud fins there. So I don't think this one will be coming back to life. But let's have a look at it anyway. It's the flower style, so that little guy pushes all the air out through there. And I'm just sort of going to and from the blowers. Those are better. Um, the blower was okay in the case they had. It does throw the air out, so for smaller cases, if you don't want crazy uh, performance overclocks or like the highest, you're just putting something in a small form factor, then it can help just move the air out. But yeah, the dual fan seems seem to be the way to go as we see the trend going that way with all of them. Lots of thermal paste on there, but not the hugest um, heat sink um, because it's the more compact design. It's only got a pretty small one, but it still has the what five heat pipes. Screws actually undo that. Yeah, it still held on. Thermal pads across all the cool stuff. Memory modules, power, the cutout for airflow through it. There we go. 
from that tiny little thing down to that one. Not sure exactly, this has it seems to have an IHS on top, not the direct die like the um, 1070 the other day had the direct die. This has an IHS, so it's probably half to three quarters or so that size. So a little bit of difference across those two. NVIDIA GF100 275 8 83. Cool. Clean it off. Gonna give it new thermal paste because we've got it open now. And you know, we might as well. I don't think I'm even gonna plug it in and test it after this. Um, I have to find a DVI connection for it, uh, adapter, which I do have somewhere. It's not that far, but we'll see. I don't think it's worth. Even plugging in, even plug, worth even plugging it in again. But whilst it's open, it can have some new plates and be all clean. The fans aren't as nearly as blocked as up as I thought they were going to be. I thought they were going to be a lot worse than that. They're not too bad. For how long wear this card? Sort of ran and is, but it's definitely heavily corroded. That's not too bad, a little pile. All the sort of came out of it, so that's not too bad. So. I mean, I've had this for quite some time. I'm not even certain. Uh, eight years. Until we have a look at the 770. I'm pretty certain all those screws are exactly the same, so I'm not too worried if they get those two of them brought back. But I think all the others are the same. So now we'll have a look at the 
Paste is still a little wet in this one, which is pretty good for how old it is. <clears throat> there we go. Definitely see a much different cooler from the 470 in the blower style, <laughs> that little guy. And then the 770 with the dual cooler and the two radiators and still got the five heat pipes same number but over a much bigger area <clears throat> enough compared to that same size as just the like copper insert. But we're back to a direct die on this one. So that's probably, <coughs> as you can see from the outer edge, as that one, they're probably about the same size die in the middle, and it's about the same size as the 1070, but still a whole lot bigger than the die that's in there. So there we go, a fair chunk of fluff in this one, which come off, we've got all the thermal pads, so we have an NVIDIA GK 101425-A2 So that's pretty good And how's our cooler over here? It's a bit grungy But it's not too bad But whilst we've got it open That's we're gonna clean it up as best we can. The fin stacks are pretty clean. It's just a bit of crap sitting on the pipes in there.
even that. You know, good case filtration. Make sure that even like, that one I thought was gonna be really trashed because I put it in a crappy case and it got overheated and I thought it just got filled up and baked, but even it's not too bad. That one's pretty clean for the amount of use it's had to. A little pile. Probably only about the same amount that came out of that one. So that's all right. I could get in and get more, but it's just kind of, just kind of in between on the surface little bits that aren't really anything. The fan blades are clean and all the fin stacks are clear and clean, so. A little bit around the power cable. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Pretty good. So there we go. Yeah, we'll put them back together. Let's see. I sat that down on the dust. Fans plugged in this time. Now we can put the screws back in again. Let's see if we remember on the next one.
There we go. 770, all back together with the fans connected. So, put that one back in and test it all up soon. We'll check this one back together. More for fun than for anything, because we get to sploosh loads of thermal paste all over it. Excellent. So there is the 470. All back together. Should have cleaned it up. Um, okay. Not going to bother testing it and getting the adapters and putting it in the rig and stuff. Um, but I'm not pretty certain it's dead anyway. So, but it was worth having a look in, seeing the different, that one with the IHS. So I did not hold up that well. One just went away. One didn't really bounce back. There we go. So that was the inside of that one. And now we'll put this guy back together. So there we go. Ten, about ten, three of three different generations over about ten years or so of graphics cards. We got 
GTX 470, GTX 770 and an ATI Radeon 3850. So that was fun. I just thought we'd just do that. I was just bored and had these and thought we'd just do it. So now at least that one's got new paste on it and I know it's all clean so it can go back in the test bench and the other can go back on the shelf and just sit there. So cheers, uh, smash like, hit sub, watch me other vids and I'll have more soon. I'm not sure what. We'll find something else to pull apart, have a look at, uh, and we'll be putting together some more of the model for the ball case. So stay tuned and have a good one. Cheers.